Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Habitafillah The question was asked I would like to ask you for advice I would like to study medicine but I, but I also would like to study Islamic knowledge and I'm really confused I don't know what I should study I really like both and that makes me unsure about what I'm going to study I hope that you can give me some advice Assalamu alaikum, jazakallah khairan, wa alaikum salam, wa may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with khair as well. I mean, and these are very personal questions, but I will relate my personal experience as briefly as I can and offer some advice. First and foremost, I recall when I was going to, before I went to Yemen, and I was gonna study the Dean, and I had a chance for a scholarship to do my master's degree in public policy, which political science, public policy, those are things that are, um, that I enjoy a lot. Uh, and so, I recall at that time going to a community, Abu Muslimus community, <laughs> a long time ago, obviously, and uh, asking him during one of his lectures, and I remember him saying on the Mimbar, and some of the people asked questions whether they should study the dean or a master's degree, and that made me feel crunchy, you know, because he, he took it on the Mimbar, and the way he said it, even though he didn't mention me and he didn't really know me, you know, from me just meeting in his community, going to visit. Uh, but he said that, and he made me, you know, that really influenced me to go study the dean. Uh, I lost my opportunity to do the scholarship, but I've still done my own studies, but that, you know, took me in a different direction. But do I regret one day having gone to and met Imam Mukbil? Bin Hadi al Wadi and the other scholars, even Sheikh Yahya al Hujuri and, and many Yemeni Mashaikh? Absolutely not. In my experiences that I will always cherish and keep in my life, and that was the path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote for me. Uh, so I don't regret it at all. But what I will say for advice, and I could have done it differently, but Qadr Allah wa Masha Fa'ad. So what I will advise is to do both that if you have the opportunity, especially being a young person, study the deen and do not lose that opportunity to go to medical school if that's something which is a passion for you and you have the ability and you have the means. That whatever means that you can to be able to do both, I think that's excellent because one of the biggest reasons is, you know, of course, we rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for support, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to whomsoever He pleases. But there are many du'at, many people who have studied, who don't have the support after they've studied, they come back, uh, or they don't go back to America, because there's, or the West, wherever they are from, because they don't have support. There's nothing, you know, they go back and they can't... Uh, you know, there's many graduates from Islamic universities that they might have to sweep floors. And that's why you find an abundance of English teachers in a lot of these lands, especially here in Saudi Arabia. I know many brothers that are master's degree students, big students of knowledge that are, you know, with certain organizations that are well known in the West that are Salafi organizations. I know many brothers. I worked in Medina and in our department, we had a, pretty much a Salafi department of students of knowledge. I would say 70% of the brothers in there at the, at the time I was there were tulab al-ilm. Either they were students in Jamal Islamiyya or they were graduates or they were in transition or they were students of knowledge. They studied with the mashayikh as much as they were teaching, more than what they were teaching in the, in, in the institute, in the university. And so this is 
the case. So we really need the support system. So this is why I say, because it's very important to be independent, and I want to encourage those youth that go and study to be independent. Don't be dependent upon the communities. A person who becomes an imam, a lot of times they're restricted. I know many brothers also who are graduates who left positions of being imams because of all the conditions. The, com the, the community enforces things on them. The masjid committee, and those are whole other topics, uh, restrain them. Because when the person has the power of the purse over you, they have a, a power over you to a greater or lesser extent. And this is the nature of the dunya. And so this is why it's important to my advice, sincerely, would be to make a gem between the two, to make a combination between the two. Because if you can study the dean and you become a doctor, a doctor's pretty well... He's financially, he or she is financially in a good position, mostly, and they are able to do a lot of things. They're not worried. If I, if I had the means, I wouldn't be here in Saudi Arabia. I would be back in America setting up and being involved, helping other people in Dawa. But because of my circumstances, I have to do what I have to do in uh, my situation. So this is the reality, is, and that's why I advise those brothers and sisters who want to study that that's beautiful. Those who just want to study, that's beautiful. But just to consider these things. And those who already have the desire or who already have a career path, to also use and benefit that to allow them, you know, that secular education, if you will, or what have you, to benefit them, benefit from that. Make that a wasila, make that a means for you to study the deen and a, 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 to make it smoother for you so you can do da'wah the law, so you can go forward. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct or some lies or anything I said that wasn't correct was myself. And the shaitan was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the